Okay, everyone, uh, at this point, hopefully you have the game installed correctly. Um, the next thing I'm launch the game uh, and then walk you through some of the first uh, steps of getting the game going. Um, so the very first time you launch the game, uh, it should take you to the thing here for your language settings. Again, if you speak one of those languages, feel free to change it. Uh, otherwise, leave it on uh, American English. And then you're going to use the enter key to accept it. Uh, for your name, uh, this is the name that you're going to use uh, when you're playing online for multiplayer. Um, as long as you are playing uh, the game for my class, you need to use a school-appropriate nickname. Uh, when you are playing on your own, that's your business, whatever you want to use for your name there, okay? Um, while we are playing in class, uh, if I see um, students using names that are inappropriate, all right, I'll boot you from the server. Uh, you can change the default color of your motorcycle. Um, so find one that you like, okay? Uh, some of them will change uh, on multiplayer. Um, here you can change the controls. Uh, by default, I'm going to leave mine as the cursor keys so that I basically use my left and right arrow keys uh, to change directions. Uh, for most of you, you should be able to just leave the internet connection alone and then go ahead and uh, click accept, please. Okay. Um, so it's going to take you into a very simple uh, single player game. Um, as you can see, if you read through the description here, uh, the speed is a lot slower than normal just to get you uh, used to the game. So once you're uh, done with these instructions, uh, you can push enter or spacebar. Um, so like I said, this is a lot slower uh, than normal speed. Okay. Um, some things that you'll notice along the bottom of the screen starting in the left, uh, it shows your current score and it shows the top score. Right. The amount of rubber that is being used is the uh, rubber on the tires. Uh, if you go too high, um, your tires will explode. Uh, next in the middle is the speed. Uh, that's the speed of your light cycle. Uh, and then it's going to show you the brakes. Okay. Uh, so by default, right turns right, left turns left. And then if you hold the down arrow on the cursor key, uh, you'll slow down just a little bit. Okay, but you cannot stop completely. So this is going to be best out of 10. All right, I'm not going to show you uh, the entire, but that's the, the basics there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and push escape. We're going to go down to leave grid. All right, it's going to show you a quick little message about, um, you know, thanking you for playing and things like that. Uh, and now it's going to unlock the full game. Okay. From this menu, all right, we're going to go down to player setup. All right, go to player one settings. All right, you can change your name here uh, on the name screen. Uh, use the arrow keys, go down to input configuration and push enter. All right, and then here, if you want to, you can change uh, your controls specifically, okay? The keys that are already indicated here all right, are the keys that you can use uh, to make those turns or make change those directions. Okay, so for example, if you look at the way that it's set here, um, to turn left, I can use either the left arrow or the U key. Okay, if I want to change that, I can push enter. All right, I can either type a new key, all right, let's say J for example. All right, now any of those three keys will change it. All right, or uh, if I push enter and then type the same letter or key again, it will remove that. For most of you, you'll probably be okay um, leaving these as the default. Uh, I know some of you may want to switch to the WASD setup. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can. Okay. Um, if you're happy with your buttons, uh, go ahead and uh, push up and then click exit menu with the enter key. All right. The next thing I would do is go down to camera setup, push enter. And then for the initial camera, at least the first few times that you play this, all right, push enter. I'm sorry, uh, use the right arrow key and change it to smart. All right. 
Um, as you play more, you can go through and change some of these other settings, but for right now, change the initial camera to smart. And then push the escape key. Um, you can leave the rest of the stuff alone here. Push the escape key again. I'm going to go down to exit menu and push enter. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is go down to system setup and push enter. Uh, the first one is going to be display settings. Push enter here. All right, you can go to uh, screen mode and push enter. Uh, if you know what you're doing, you're, you can change the window size. Uh, this will increase the resolution um, so the, the graphics look a little bit nicer. Uh, I'm going to use 1024 by 768. All right, for the screen resolution, uh, leave it on desktop, full screen, turn on. Um, if you want to try some of these other options, you can, but if you break something, you're on your own. Go down to apply changes and then push enter. And then click exit menu. All right, if you go to the uh, preferences menu, uh, there's some things that you can change there. Um, sparks, explosions, uh, the sky movement, uh, whether or not you want to display the frames per second, um, you can turn all of those off and on uh, at your discretion, okay? Um, generally, turning the sparks, uh, the explosion, and the sky off will speed up the game a little bit. Uh, once you've configured those, go on the exit menu and push enter. Um, if you go to detail settings, uh, again, you can change some of the stuff if you know what you're doing. Uh, but for the most part, I would leave this alone. Same thing for performance tweaks. All right, leave those alone. Go to exit menu. Exit menu again. All right, now if you want to, you can change some of your sound settings. Um, most of that I would probably just leave alone. Uh, you can change the quality uh, and then the volume if you want to. Uh, and then push exit. And then we'll leave this one alone also. So we'll hit an exit menu again. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to do one uh, local player. So go to play game. All right, we want to do local game. All right, that's going to take you into the game. And as you can see, it's much faster than the default. Okay. So your goal is to get uh, the other motorcycles to crash into your wall. Uh, a couple tricks. If you are directly next to a wall uh, of an end of another motorcycle, it will give you a little bit of a speed boost. Um, so it's a way for you to jump ahead. Uh, you can kind of cut people off. And then another trick is using that brake to hold the down arrow. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, the other guy uh, crashed. All right. And it gives you some points there. Each match uh, is 10 rounds. Right, so that whoever has the most wins at the end of 10 rounds uh, is going to be uh, declared the winner. So you see, um, uh, will be declared the winner. Okay, so I'm going to stop my recording for right now. Uh, I'm going to finish this. Uh, actually, I'm going to escape and quit. Um, so. I would like everyone to play uh, one uh, 10 round match uh, just against the computer first. Um, when you're finished, uh, push the escape key and then go to leave grid, please. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and exit menu and then exit game. Okay, so that's the single player version.